The conclusion I've come to is incredibly wild, that those in charge have been successful in keeping secret the greatest story of mankind. The evidence is overwhelming that Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled extraterrestrial spacecraft. The CIA guy standing next to me says, we're confiscating all this data and you're all sworn to secrecy. They've all been studying this. They have more data than I do. So the, the government has dumped disinformation and, and misinformation into the field for decades. They've undermined research. I, I have lost uh, faith in representative government. I, I truly think we're in gridlock, it doesn't work, and so we need to make a change. I think it's ignorant of any people not to seek out what we need to know to continue the universe. You give this committee a lot of reasons for us to say, open those files. You're walking up to it and you touch it. What do you do? Touch it that? Do you grab it? What, tell us about that. Okay. I started doing the walk around 360 of the, uh, of the object. And uh, as I came around, I, I seen there was an inscription on, on the front. Uh, and this is what you saw, right? That's what I saw. So I started walking around the craft, and I, I seen the glyphs. And uh, as I, you know, uh, ran my hand from the uh, fabric of the craft, uh, it was smooth to touch. Uh, you ran your hands along it. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I believe that the time is now to lift the veil of secrecy that has shrouded this subject for over 60 years. And the subject of UFOs should now be openly accepted in the mainstream media. They exist, they are here to save us against it, the insanity of our leaders. I agree with you, they should open those Roswell files. There is only one way to regain trust, find and tell the truth. If it's out there, if it's real, we have a right to know. Third phase among Blake Cousins here. We're with Stephen Bassett, the head of the congressional hearing over there in Washington, D.C. Multiple people come forward, share their incredible testimony, generals, politicians, and you, the gamut, doctors. You know what, we got him right here on the radio and we wanna ask him what just happened November 5th. Something went down over there in Washington and you were part of it, Stephen Bassett. Welcome to Third Phase. Uh, great to be with you, uh, Blake. Look, uh, we launched the Congressional Hearing Initiative on the 5th of November uh, when uh, DVD video records of the entire citizen hearing on disclosure held last year at the National Press Club was shipped to the entire Congress. That's, uh, there are three vacant seats, so it's uh, 538 um, offices. That's 5,380 DVDs. And this is the beginning of the most comprehensive effort in history to get congressional hearings on the extraterrestrial issue for the, the new group of witnesses that has emerged since 1992. The last hearing on the subject in Congress was, in fact, 1968. 46 years ago. Um, now, what's happening now is these DVDs are on their way. It's going to take some time. Uh, some of them are going by land. They have to go through security screenings and all that. So while they're on their way, we're launching a social media campaign at factsonwashington.org. That's F-A-X, facts, on Washington.org. And anyone who goes to that website will easily find the necessary link so they can tweet members of Congress, they can uh, post on their Facebook page, and they can send emails to most of the members of Congress. Um, and we need to essentially make it rain here. It's called the tweet storm. We want thousands and thousands of these tweet emails and Facebook postings to be going and uh, heading to the Congress. Uh, being done to the Congress over the next uh, uh, month, certainly, but right away, so that they know these DVDs are coming, and they know that, that the American people want them to open them and look at them, and and meet with me when I start knocking on their door later this month, and of course that we want congressional hearings for the witnesses. That's a social media a campaign, uh, and then I will start approaching offices sometime around uh, November 20. 
wow, incredible, uh, you know, just the work behind the whole project. And now you got the product delivered in, uh, you know, into the Congress. You're trying to get in their hands. And we need the people to tweet our Congress and tell them they need to check this out because, uh, you know, it's time for disclosure. Stephen Bassett, what do you think about this, uh, you know, turnaround, the winners and losers? There's going to be a, a Republican, uh, you know, in charge Congress. What do you think, uh, better chances at trying to get, uh, who's more open-minded in your opinion? Well, strategically, the most important effect of this election is that as of January the 3rd, all of the committees in the House and the Senate will be chaired by Republican uh, chair people. Uh, whereas prior to the election, uh, the Senate was still Democratic. So we had Democratic chairs on the committees in the Senate and Republican in the House. That basically meant that we would be working with both parties as we try to get one or more of these committees to sign on to, to hold these hearings. Now we're going to be working with one party. Now the Democratic minority has some influence on any of the committees, of course, some more than others. So it, it makes it a little more monolithic. Uh, it's also the case the Republicans as a party are much more, how would you say, leaning toward the national security structures, their policies, more in favor of uh, uh, the, uh, the secrecy that is characteristic of the truth embargo. But that's also changing to some degree. So whatever, we're going to proceed. Um, and uh, in the first two months, of course, we're going to be dealing with just staffers. The senators, the members of the Senate and House, uh, whether they won or lost, pretty much all go home. They only work a few more days to the end of the year. So we're going to be meeting with staffers who are essentially in Washington with not much to do, frankly. Election's over. Politics has slowed down. Uh, their bosses are out of town. So we'll be meeting with staffers, trying to lay the groundwork to meet with the members when they come back in. Now, as of January the 3rd, we will send DVD sets to all the new members once they're installed in their offices. Uh, but for now, we're dealing with the interim, not the interim, but the, 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 the end of this uh, congressional session. Those, those that lost have an opportunity here. They're on their way out. In many cases, their political career is over. They have a chance to make history here uh, by stepping forward on this issue, by leaning on uh, members of the committees, or at least helping to get the word out within Congress that we need to move on this and do something really important for the American people and the world on their way out the door. We'll see to what degree we get that kind of cooperation from the losers. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be focusing uh, our direct visits on the uh, members of key committees. In other words, we're not going to try to visit with any member of Congress. We're going to be visiting with those members that sit on the key committees, such as House and Senate Intelligence, such as House and Senate Science, Space Science and Technology, and so forth. Uh, if you're not sitting on one of these key committees, we're not going to be uh, talking to you. Not that we don't want your, your support. We don't want you to speak up, but uh, we need to focus on the committee members because the goal is hearings. We need a commitment to hold hearings for the witnesses ready to testify, and there are quite a few witnesses. Stephen Bassett right here at Third Phase of Moon. Good luck uh, coming up in the, in the next uh, few weeks over there in uh, Washington, and uh, keep us updated. Absolutely. Happy to come on the show for more extended discussion at your leisure. Absolutely. We have the links below to follow the tweets. We got to get the tweets to the Congress and get them to take a look at this DVD. Everybody, we're not alone. Everybody keep your eyes on the skies. Blake Cousins. We'll see you again next time.